This video is to show the integration of a four relay add-on board to PyLink uh, and a pretty slick integration with the open auto interface that uh, I offer for the product. Uh, the user wanted to control some switches that uh, PyLink uh, would be replacing. Well, actually, the display would be uh, taking over. And uh, I found an add-on board uh, that we could integrate into the system. You can notice the PyLink case is taller than usual. It's about 14 millimeters taller, so 56 millimeters tall. Um, but it all integrates very nicely. So, uh, and the user worked with me under my, some guidance uh, and developed a nice touchscreen interface. And then I worked to really integrate it nicely into Open Auto. But it can be used with regular PyLink too. The relays are only three amp relays, so they can't do tremendous work, but uh, they can certainly work for some of you, and so this might be of interest. So if you take a look, um, this is the Open Auto interface in general. This is how you use Android Auto. If you go to Applications, uh, you can see the ECM link button, but I've added uh, this uh, dash control button. I click this, and this brings up the touchscreen display for his switches. Now this is his setup, but uh, we can customize this really to anybody. So if you can see here, I have an LED. It's hooked up to the relay bo uh, board uh, tied to this button. Yep, that's it. This one's set up for a peak hold, so it always stays on. Some of the others toggle. And bam. And he has some that do combinations for various reasons. I think this is to control a, a stack display uh, on his dash, uh, as you can tell from the buttons. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. So some of you might like this. You could tie things to, uh, it, they're 12 volt relays. So you can tie them to 12 volt sources or you could tie them to grounds to ground things out like for fan control. Uh, I think it's pretty slick. Kind of updates the Eclipse even more. I'm oh, sorry, DSMs even more. All right, hope you like it.